Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we have a brand new tank, and this tank has hash. Yes, it does have hash, but before we get into today's video, Huawei are back. They are back with more offers for you. So, all you need to do is download the Huawei app gallery, click in the, the link is, are in the description, so click the links and you could get up to 30% off. On top of that, you will also get 5% back of what you spend on Huawei points, which you can spend anywhere. You can spend anywhere in the Huawei app gallery. So hit the description, download the Huawei app gallery app, and you will get these uh, coupons. So as you can see, there are three coupons, a $2, uh, sorry, two euro coupon, a 2.4 uh, coupon, and a five euro 40 coupon. This is for all EU uh, members. If you're not in the EU, you might, uh, you might struggle, but if you download a VPN, it should then work. So as I've said, um, description, hit the, uh, the link in the description, Download the Huawei app gallery now and you can save yourself some money. Back to today's video. We look at the brand new tier 9 British medium tank, the Cobra. Yes, the Cobra, it has hash. Everybody loves hash. Unless you don't know how to use hash, then you probably don't love hash. But this is coming. Uh, I don't believe it's coming with this camo though this camo look how amazing this camo actually looks it really is uh, a brilliant camo one of the best in the game uh, but i believe it is coming with the rely old reliable camo which is this i could be wrong uh, but i'm pretty sure it is coming with this camouflage but hopefully uh, you guys will be able to get yourself this camouflage in the future because it is absolutely uh, May Zin. It really does look good. And with this camouflage, as I've just said, it does look one of the best tank, best looking tanks in the whole entire game. So what is the tank like and is it worth buying? So hit points, 1700 hit points. Uh, the armor, you've got 125 millimeters on your turret and 120 on your hull. So basically it is paper. It, you, you might get the troll bounce, uh, but it is basically paper. Uh, your DPM, 2,315. So actually, very, very low DPM. Uh, not good for the DPM at all. When you're looking at other mediums with around 3,000, yeah, the DPM really does suck. Now, we are running this with calibrated shells because, of course, it has hash. It has heat and it has hash. Um, I don't really like that combination, to be honest, heat and hash, because all it takes is for a tank to hide behind um, a fence all they need to do is hide behind a fence and you won't be able to penetrate them you're going to hit the fence it's going to explode and it's going to do no damage um well it, it, it'll it'll do damage to the fence that is about it uh but you know the hesh is nice as we as you all know i absolutely love hesh and you can actually make this tank work if you are up against tier eights of course it is much better because there is more that you can penetrate so your reload is 10.37 seconds penetration is 259 on your heat and 220 on that hesh so 259 is the best you're going to get so if you do come up against tier 10s uh frontally you're probably going to struggle uh so it is all about trying to get to the side of them trying to get to the rear of them because you really want to use that hesh um you've got a 400 alpha gun on your heat and 500 on your hesh aim time is three seconds dispersion is 0 0.326 you do have 10 degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 45 kilometers per hour now for me the the hesh is nice like i get it the hesh is nice we all love hesh um but i just feel that the tank's missing something some of the other ccs have said this is one of the best tier nines uh, in the game i'm f definitely far from that i i definitely don't think this is one of the best tier nines in the game but you do struggle you struggle more than you uh you, you succeed and I honestly believe that. It is a very, very difficult tank to play. Like, you're playing a Tier 9 up against Tier 10s uh, with a tank that has Hesh uh, and Heat. 
that you're going to struggle to penetrate. You don't have the best of speeds. I mean, I think it could be a bit quicker. And I think, I feel if it is quicker, I, I believe it would perform a lot better. But considering you've got no armor whatsoever, uh, and you've only got that Hessian heat, like you need to get away from tanks. You know, you need to try and get around tanks behind them to the side of them. And I don't feel that you can do that with the speed of this thing. It really does struggle. Uh, but yeah, if it goes for you, of course, it's a really good tank. And you've got to remember, if you are shooting the Hesh, uh, you've got to be prepared not to uh, to do the damage that you always want to do. So as you see, the first shot, we only done 200 damage. So we, we kind of sucked there. But but the second shot we done over 500 damage so we did get a lucky bounce from that kpz very very lucky bounce from that guy uh, and in fact that pretty much kept us alive uh, so that's the only bounce we're going to have i don't know why he only done 490 he used heat on us i believe i don't know um but no 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 idea why but yeah i could have been dead already if he wouldn't have shot that and if he wouldn't have bounced then would have penned I would have pretty much been dead already. So yeah, it's a very difficult tank to play. And would I suggest it right now? Probably not. I wouldn't suggest it. It's going to come pretty much for, I'm assuming, a lot of money or a crates of course it will come in crates we all love the crates don't we um so yeah right now I, I would suggest not to get it when it comes for gold then yeah we can think about how much gold uh is it is it coming for and then we could decide if it's actually worth the gold or not so as you can see that the hesh is pretty nice and there is quite a few tanks that you can penetrate especially if you are up against tier eights there's there's loads of tanks that you can actually penetrate even frontally if that angled correctly you you might be able to hit their uh, their lower plate um but yeah other tanks tier 10s like you know try penning an is7 with this frontally or an, even an is4 maybe the lower plate you might get a bit lucky um but yeah a vk72 there's not going to be many um that you're going to be able to penetrate and uh, yeah we got away with that one i don't know how we missed but you know we had to take that shot pretty quickly uh, and we didn't really do uh, do too much damage there, but it's definitely a tank that does struggle. I'm not going to lie, it does struggle, uh, but I still enjoy it. I think it's still going to be an enjoyable tank to play because it's Hesh. You know, most Hesh tanks, almost all Hesh tanks are enjoyable to play so let's have a game in tier 10 to see how we get on in tier 10 now against mediums then again you will be able to penetrate some with uh, with that hash but again you, you don't want to come up frontally against these guys you know the standard b yeah okay if we aimed properly we would be able to penetrate him and you know we're hold down we are using sort of a little bit of gun depression and we did get a lucky bounce from that guy but <coughs> you can't rely on the armor like the, the bounces that we've got so far we've only got two bounces uh, and one of them was very very lucky like very lucky and uh, this guy is pretty much just not aiming correctly so yeah as you can see like you can get them bounces no idea where that shot went against that chieftain but right now i'm a little bit worried because the stbs are all pushing luckily they're not aiming for me which means i can get the side shots into them and again yeah stbs you're easily gonna easily gonna be able to hash them from the side so of course i've got the hash loaded the hash is really the only shell i want to shoot i don't want to shoot the heat i want to do as much alpha as i possibly can and i'm only going to really do that uh, with that hash but i need to hit them from the right position you know this chieftain he's not looking at me no problem we'll come to the side of him and we will get the shot and now we can push this standard b we do get shot from a tank destroyer from the back uh, but look i mean a tank with paper armor no problem whatsoever and we do manage to get a nice amarak against that guy so three kills 2.4k damage and just two tank destroyers left which is this wz and the waffle so no problem i'm just gonna load the hesh and uh, i really want to go for that waffle uh, because he does look a bit juicy and as soon as i come around here we are going to to spot him and there he is full hit points and hello 
and that was a very low roll 421 hesh low roll that really did uh, yeah that sucked so of course i'm going to try and get as much damage as i possibly can and then we only do 380 so it's not going for us at the moment uh, and we're not sadly going to get the final kill so we did mess up a few of our shots there we could have done some more damage uh, but overall i do like the tank it is it is a nice tank uh, but it is a struggle to uh, to play. And yeah, a lot of people will struggle with this tank. So for now, I wouldn't recommend the tank. Uh, wait for it to come back. I'm sure it will come back in the near future for gold. So just wait until then. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I am Meezy69. There is the Cobra, an absolutely beautiful looking tank that you guys can now get. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Meezy and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.